Okay, well here's the Game King that was severely damaged. Um, basically it was thrown down some stairs, there's an earlier video on it. So far I've done a lot of work to the body part. Had to rehammer the frame quite a bit around the front to get it to door to close properly, or at least close to properly. Um, and then a lot of cleaning, the, you know, obviously the touch screen display was destroyed. So I did replace that, it was a pretty simple operation. It was basically just, you know, open the door, take a couple screws out, pull it out, put the new one in, done deal. So not too exciting there, I didn't even film it. The uh, last part about this that I'm going to touch on is the glass on the top. I've gone through some pretty extensive requests and talking online and working with people and trying to figure out if there's a way to get this glass. Unfortunately this particular machine had a pretty exclusive piece of glass in it. Um, it's 19 and a half wide and it's pretty short so you know that creates a problem. What I'm going to do about it and what I'm going to attempt to show you guys today is how I did it and the basic process of it is going to be, I'm going to take and scan the glass. I'm going to unfortunately have to send it off to somebody else because I don't have the time, effort, or the skills to do it. But I'm going to send it out to somebody, have them basically remove all the cracks and damage from the actual image itself. And then I'm going to send it to somebody else to print it. When it comes back, we're going to go ahead and sandwich it in between a couple pieces of glass throw it back in there and see how it looks. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this glass out. You can get a little bit better look at it before I send it or before I send it for scanning. Yeah, I'm not sure if that shows up any better here or not, but it's it's pretty thrashed. So, all right, next step. Okay, so here's the actual product that was shipped to me. Um, so what I ended up doing is I ended up scanning this at a local copy shop. They had to do it in two pieces, unfortunately, because it was too wide for a basic scanner. Um, I took that piece, uh, those TIFF files, and I sent them off to a company called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. And there I found somebody on there that's willing for 40 bucks to restructure the file and to clean it all up, take care of all the cracks, etc. I think they did a pretty good job. The print isn't as good as I would maybe hope in the long run, but, you know, for what it is, I think it works great. Um, so at that point, I sent the file off to Backlit Posters, which is Backlit back litposters.com and they went in and sent me this so I'll show you kind of where we're at if you look down here this is the damaged portion it really looks like it turned out pretty good you can't tell it's a more of a matted finish but once I put the glass on top it definitely helps so anyway the whole thing I think looks pretty good so what I'm going to do here is I'm I've got it already set up on one piece of glass um, and I just taped it up here in a few places with some small piece of tape. I've seen a lot of guys or heard a lot of guys, um, you know, siliconing, gluing, and getting sticky paper, all these things. I don't really see the necessity for it, but uh, potentially I might do something like that if I don't like the way this turns out. So I've just got it stuck on the one piece of glass. I'll grab my other piece here. I made sure it's nice and clean, cleaned both sides of it. As good as I can and I'm just gonna sandwich it on there so once it gets sandwiched in on there it brings back the glossy look of it you can see unfortunately the reflections in there but it brings back a nice gloss so what I'm gonna do here just temporarily is I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of tape on the sides here and on the top just kind of hold this together and give it a try in the machine see if I like it and if I do um, I'll go ahead and maybe Maybe I will take these and silicone the edges, um, but we'll see how this looks. Just 
put the trim ring back in here a little bit. Okay, I think it turns out pretty nice for what it is. You know, it's definitely not broken anymore. I think the colors, you know, obviously compared to the original on the bottom, colors are definitely different and they sure show up in the video. In live, it's not as bad, but it looks nice. It's, it's clean looking and for the overall budget and what it costs, I think it worked out great. Okay, so I'm going to take a minute and just go over the overall cost for you guys, just so you can break it all down. So originally the broken piece I took in, luckily it wasn't in pieces, it was just cracked, so I could still keep it in one piece. I took it to a local mail and copy shop, and they charged me $10 to scan it into TIFF files, and I had to do two of those files. Um, I sent that image off to a company called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, and the gentleman I worked with there was uh, his tag if you care is md underscore m a z e d u l and for forty dollars i just sent a bid out he accepted it and for forty dollars he went ahead and uh, fixed all the errors or problems in it unfortunately i think between the scans and between him fixing all that the colors didn't come out perfect so maybe you know if you guys wanted something a little more on the perfect side you might have to pay a little bit more to have that done correctly, or maybe somebody else will do better. I don't know. I like it. Um, at that point, once I got it back, I was happy with it. So I sent it off to a company called BacklitPosters.com. Worked with a gentleman there named Paul, who was awesome. He sent a couple emails helping me kind of correct some of the colors. And and uh, anyway, he printed it off for 20 bucks. So $20 plus $10 shipping was $29.95. At that point, when I got it back, it's a nice translucent image, exactly the right size that I needed. And at that point, I went down to my local glass company, just a guy in town. We've got a small town of 20,000 people, but he's a glass guy. And he went ahead and cut me two pieces of 3 8 inch glass. And I sandwiched those together. So the 3 8 the 3 8 and I figured it'd be, you know, maybe a 16th for the photo inside and that turns out to be back to a quarter or maybe a little bit smaller than the original quarter inch glass that was in there so two pieces of three inch glass cut custom cut sanded etc was sixteen dollars thirty three cents so the grand total was ninety six dollars and twenty eight cents and I rounded to a hundred bucks and the labor of the project was pretty fun to do I like the way it looks I don't think I'm going to change much on it right now I'll keep the original piece of glass. If I were to find an original out there somewhere that was in good shape, was a good enough price, I'd probably still buy that just because I don't think the colors are perfect between the two here. But, you know, when I look at the original, I look at, at that one. But, again, in, in real time, I don't think most people would notice. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you get a chance. And I'll see you in the next video.